Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Final Fantasy 16. So last episode was a little bit of a mess in some ways. Uh, we had like about an hour, I think, of gameplay and cutscenes where the game wouldn't let me save. That was a little annoying. Feels like a little bit of regressive game design. It is a courtesy to the player to provide opportunities to save during long sequences like that. Also, not really the game's fault, but I had real bad audio desync issues. It got so bad that the audio was lagging about a full two seconds behind the video by the end, and that was making things real disorienting. I'm hoping that was a fluke and it's not going to happen again. Thankfully, it didn't show up in the recordings. The recordings, the audio was synced, and that's very good, because it would have been pretty awful if the recordings had had that problem too. Um, all right, so having said all that, You're still hungry, are you? Might have some around here. We have recovered our old girlfriend from Clive's childhood, Jill. I think that was her name. Uh, she was being used as a dominant by some evil faction that appears to, appears to abuse its dominance quite oh, badly. And, uh, we got Clive's traumatizing backstory. It's traumatizing indeed. I'll say it feels to me like the game is trying a little too hard to be dark and edgy. Uh, a friend of mine said that it's basically like they locked the writers of this game up in a room with all the Game of Thrones DVDs. And, yeah, that's pretty accurate. And apologies to any Game of Thrones fans out there, but I'm not a fan. Don't really care for Game of Thrones. Sit. Once told me, the blight doesn't kill the land, it only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. So to the extent that the tone of this game feels pretty inspired by Game of Thrones, it's not a great thing. But uh, just to make it clear, I am still enjoying playing this game and looking forward to playing more. Just that I am starting to develop some criticisms from having completed what I think is basically the introductory segment. So I don't think it's going to rise back to the glory days of Final Fantasy 7 through 10, but we'll see. It might still end up being the best one since 10. Okay, I thought maybe you had a quest for me or something. But uh, I guess not. Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You mean get rid of it? But you're a free man now. Yeah, I'm straight. Also, I wasn't born a slave. I was born a prince. My evil mom gave me up for a slave. You've had your medicine. What a nasty piece of work she is. These apples are all foul. Also, apparently there's a possible scene you can get that I didn't see from young Clive, uh, where his mom says that it will be her handmaiden's heads if anything happens to Joshua, which would explain why they got killed in that one scene because Joshua is dead or at least apparently so and so um, our evil mother had her handmaidens killed so I would explain that just working on a pet project of mine though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield, a bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines, with orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. I 
not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominants like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help from branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Of course, there was a catch. Will you join us? Seems like a pretty obvious yes. What better alternatives are there? Was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. Phoenix is evil twin. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Best mate ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. The game sort of seemingly deliberately made it a bit unclear and open to interpretation, but I'm not convinced we aren't Ifrit's dominant, and that we didn't go berserk and kill our own brother. Could be wrong, but I would not be surprised if that ended up being the twist. That we have Ifrit inside us, and that's where our fire magic comes from, and not Phoenix. Because after all, didn't Phoenix choose Joshua, not us? Then why do we have fire magic? Maybe because we're not getting it from Phoenix. That's my official prediction. Like I said, I could be wrong, but... We'll see, I think that might be the way it goes. Guess they're probably talking about Jill. Another thing my friend said, the way that he put it... Oops. Cutscene again. There's so many cutscenes. He, he's in. Oh no. Go towards it. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. My audio's in oh, sync uh, this oh, time, and thank God for that. Uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith. If you've never played a game where the audio is lagging two seconds behind the video, you have no idea how disorienting it is. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. But uh, the way my friend put it with regard to the plot and tone of the game was he hopes that. Uh, it sort of developed so that there's something in this world worth saving. Which I think very nicely captures why I'm not a huge fan of stories that go too overboard with the darkness and grimness.
Because if everything in the world is just a giant pile of crap, then what's the point? Like you're playing a game to do what? There needs to be some kind of light in the world, something that's worth saving and fighting for. At least if you're playing a plot-heavy game like this. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's like a shoot 'em up or something, but... Surly Smith, eh? What if I am? No time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sita Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is she cute? Is that so? This guy doesn't seem to like us very much. Continental rum. Hand over. So we bribe him with booze? Is that it? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, goots. Alright, alright. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mine. Okay. Foraging. Oh boy, it's crafting time. Crafting of new gear. Why can't I just buy it? Why do I have to craft it? <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to sound salty about things. I'm just, I'm not hugely into crafting systems. I'd rather just be able to buy my items. Oh well, we'll make do. As long as you have the recipe and the proper materials. Yeah, that's how crafting systems work. Okay, iron belt plus one requires iron filings, does it? And, okay, figuring out how this interface works. Oh, I see, hold down X to craft. Okay, e okay, I'm glad it at least lets me immediately equip it. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else, you bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. A uh, uh, word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Why not? Do you know something about Sid that I should know? When something has changed, a notice will appear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. In addition to stock updates for Karen's toll and new forging recipes for the Black Hammer, there are also notices for new quests, missives, and many other things. Uh, Something icon will also appear in game as well as on the local map to indicate recent updates. I suppose I should think goods. Oh, as long as I'm at it, let's check out that active time lore system or whatever. Oh, um. Okay, never mind. The faceplate is just bringing up the map. Okay. Anything else to say, Wait. Karen? Karen? Sure, I'll ask about Blackthorn. But I ain't the cook. Am I? Look. Oh, I see. We're doing that thing where the voice actors are only paid to say the first couple words of a line. You got anything needs repairing? I'm guessing I don't have that anything be. to be able to craft anything else. Broadsword plus one requires... Frozen Tear and, what's that say, Wernite? Apparently I'm only three short, so I could upgrade my broadsword as soon as I get a few more of those. As long as the crafting system is reasonably simple to use and you don't have to spend lots of time grinding for rare materials, then I'm okay with it. It's mostly just if you have to spend lots of time grinding for materials is why I often don't like crafting systems. But as long as I don't have to do much of that, then I'm okay with it. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. <laughs> you, 
blankets. Quick as you like. You guys okay? It's a lot of huffing and puffing going on. Right. We make it comfortable while the bed's made up. Well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't needs out, eh? Yeah. Wait, me? But I was gonna go on a quest and like go explore and fight enemies. Not yet, I guess. What have I got myself into? That's a good question. So what's going on here? Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your ass. All right, no need for the language. Calm down. Let's tell you the one looking after Jill. I swear, everybody here is so rude. Everybody's so edgy. Hey, Taya. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. Okay, I understand that you're rude and edgy just like everyone else, but... There are injured bearers in need of attention. Yeah, exactly. Do your job. Why didn't you say so? Because you were too busy being rude and edgy. Didn't say so. Go do your job, lady. Good grief. Everyone has such a chip on their shoulder. <sighs> He's going to be all right. But I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Well, that's very cool looking, isn't it? Fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Okay, but, Otto. I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Okay, so I guess Karen is her. What was the blacksmith's oh. name again? And thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today. And we won't forget it. I mean, I, I, literally all I did was go fetch the, the doctor lady who was like 10 steps away. I, I didn't do that much. You're welcome, though. At least somebody who's not rude and edgy. I appreciate that, Otto. Keep an eye out for the green exclamation mark icon above the heads of certain NPCs. These indicate they have a quest to offer. Okay, I, I knew that there was surely going to be some kind of side quest system, and it sounds pretty standard. After accepting a quest, objectives will appear in the to-do list. Objectives for the main scenario and up to three side quests can be displayed simultaneously. Any quest can be prioritized on the journal tab in the main menu by highlighting it and pressing X. Excuse me. Well, I guess you could call that X, yeah. X cross. Whatever you like to call it. And then you can remove priority status by pressing X again. Following facilities are now available. The Thousand Tomes, an ever-growing compendium of all things Velis DSO, a uh, library, basically. The Orchestrian, a personal... Okay, a jukebox. Both are located in the Hideaway's Eatery, the Fat Chocobo. That's a pretty good name for an eatery, not gonna lie. I, I would use that for a D&D campaign, except Chocobos are pretty Final Fantasy specific, so I, I don't think I could get away with that. Off. 
I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before he gives <sighs> in himself? It's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I see you also have a huge chip on your shoulder, lady. Thank you for watching him. So, we're This game is so it. damn edgy. <laughs> you didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Get stuffed, Life old lady. Work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Quit acting like an adolescent who just discovered how to be rude to people. Good grief. Uh, oh, so I can just buy stuff from you. Okay, so I don't have to craft everything. Well, that's good. Broadsword, eh? Well, it's got better stats. Costs 500 gil. And I have... 516? <laughs> Should I blow my wad on it? I do like weapons. Let's do it. You'll not find a better price than that. Uh, I bet I could. You don't exactly seem like the type who gives discounts, lady. That's all. Oops, I missed the sell menu. Why are you barely a guilty name? You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for He's you. He's so huge! All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Torgal, you're enormous. Thank me. Thank you, dog. Reminds me of Dex from Flynn, Son of Crimson, actually. Just how big are you, Torgal? Let me get a better look at you. Could I ride you? Are you big enough you can be a war dog mount? Okay, no. That's a shame. I guess you're not quite as big as Dex. Anyways. Yes. Yeah, I, I missed the uh, ask about Charon. Nah. If you're gonna buy well, some, be quick about it. I, uh, I missed the sell menu. I want to sell you this crappy Imperial Infantry blade. I reckon I can find a buyer. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Yeah, I'll bet you're not, lady. Okay. Fancy a mug of Kenneth Coldest when we're done. Seeing as you're new, let me share a word of warning. Keep your hands out of the stores, or I'll cut them off and crate them with the others. Everybody's so damned edgy! Except Otto. Otto's cool. And I guess Sid was cool. I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial Camp. Seriously, though, what a craptastic world where everybody's in such a lousy mood all the time. I guess they have reason to be. Let's be fair. They don't exactly have the best of living <sighs> standards, do they? Hey, Jeffrey, do you have a quest or something? Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. Couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? I really fetch quest. Oh, boy. I better get something good for this. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. Their saltiness is rubbing off on me. Keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake. But not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? 
Ask over at the white ants. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. I hope that there's not too many fetch quests. Because it's not the most exciting thing in the world to go fetch wood for people. Sid once told me the blight. All right, I killed talked to you. So basically, the effect is impermanent, is that what you're saying? Well, that would be nice. I talked to you, right? Yes. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. Yeah, but would it be worth putting up with her saltiness? Maybe I'm okay with the brand. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Curse Breaker in training. Another one of Sid's strays. What? We all are. Little ones, big ones, and everything in between. We're a damn sight better off here than out there in the world. I can believe it. Oh, that's cool. The Arete Stone? Arete? I, I don't know how to say that. It's customizable virtual battlescape, provides Clive a safe location, test out new abilities, and train against all manner of enemies. Okay, so you can try out different character builds and stuff. That sounds cool. Speaking of which... Uh... Can I just exit? Exit? No. Okay. Commence. No, that's okay. I think it's going to make me do it. Fine. Press the faceplate to open the training menu to adjust both enemy and ally parameters. Interesting. Okay, well, before that, uh, I need to make sure that I've equipped my different abilities, because I don't remember equipping them, actually. So this is where I buy abilities. Okay, and this is where I can equip. Let's see. I'm not, like I said before, I'm not going to equip these. Uh, what sound like very handicap kind of accessories, unless I start really sucking at the game. Uh, but I think that's what the gray ones mean, and so purple might just be sort of normal accessories. Kate Sith charm. A good luck charm modeled after the front foot of the mythical Kate Sith, a cat with a pelt of spun gold, whose claws. Rake in treasure from blah blah blah. Okay, increases Gillerns by 25%. That's what I wanted to know. Cool. How about the Scholar's Spectacles? Increases EXP earned. I'll equip that. I probably can equip both, right? Because I have multiple slots. Yeah, there we go. Braveheart. Huh. Why do I have this? I don't know why I have this awesome sounding sword but i'll equip it i already have the iron belt plus one equipped okay and i don't think i can equip icons yet because we haven't unlocked that uh okay i guess this will do now it's been about a week since i recorded this game so i need to remember how to play it I guess this training thing will be useful for that. Uh, let's see. There we go, that's my teleport. Jump. Ranged attack. Melee attack. Uh, and hold down trigger. And then triangle for Scarlet Cyclone. I guess that is more Phoenix looking than Ifrit looking, isn't it? That kind of throws a damper on my theory that we're Ifrit's dominant. Yeah, that very much looks like a phoenix wing. 
Okay, and... Uh, Alright, good enough for now, I think. And training. That'll be good for testing out different character builds and such, I think. I appreciate that they have that feature. Mm. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Hey there, Torgal, good boy. Use the world map to instantly travel to previously unlocked locations. New locations are unlocked by progressing through the main story or discovering waymarks known as obelisks. The world map will open automatically upon leaving an area, but can also be accessed at any time via the main menu. New locations are unlocked by discovering obelisks, huh? I guess we'll find out more about that in due time. I should probably do this side quest before I leave. Hey, uh, that guy over there can't walk 30 yards to come get some wood, so I'm doing it for him. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be just Clive sounds appropriately here. put out by this. Luck would have it. We've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Hey, another polite person. Here we are. I'd better get this to... Jeffrey, was it? Where to next? No. Alright, Jeffrey, I got your wood. This is a very cool looking location, this hideaway. Awesome architecture with all the spirally stuff. Here's your wood, buddy. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. It was so little trouble, I do wonder why you didn't just do it yourself, but let's put that aside. What kind of reward do I get? Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. That's RPG Good fetch quest luck. for you. The walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to... That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Five experience meteorite gill bug can be traded for gill. I don't know for how much gill, but uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Can I not check on Jill before I go? Seems like it won't let me in that room. I guess she's being tended to by the healers. I did kind of wreck her face with my sword and my fire magic, so, uh... In fairness, she was wrecking my face with her sword and her ice magic, so, you know. She's not going to heal any quicker with you hovering around like a blood fly. All right, all right. I just wanted to see if I could check in on her. I guess that's a no. Okay, sounds like we're venturing outside and doing some quests. Hopefully we're back into the mode where we're going to explore and fight monsters and stuff, because honestly, that's pretty much my favorite part of most RPGs. 
What is this green exclamation mark again? Yellow is quests, right? Oh, no, green is when they have a quest for me. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? Do I look like a in waiter trouble, to you? I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. What's in your strong box? Let me guess, it's empty. Wait, 500 gil? Really? Seems like a lot to just deliver a few meals. Okay. And sure. I why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful. They're hot. I have two hands. How am I going to take these three plates? I can't stack them on top of each other when oh, they've got no. stew in them. How long has it been? Oh, well. Apparently I'm a talented man. Maybe I have one balanced on top of my head. Here you go, sir. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect. The old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. Yeah. Oh, my thanks. I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. That's how restaurants work, sir. Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. Well, I'm happy you finally found happiness or something approximating it. Ah, here's the orchestrion. All this music that we're listening to right now is fine, but what else is available? How do I, uh, ah, the right stick. Okay, we haven't unlocked much. This is a nice piano piece. Let's listen to this for a while. The iron blood were quick to sound the retreat once Titan turned up. A lot of good that Spoony Bard, okay. <laughs> I appreciate that. And lightning struck his yoke did break his life his own again. With thunder's roll he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. Thank you, Spoony Bard. Well, what do you think? I woke this morn inspired. You sing better than me, buddy. Not that that's saying much, but you do. What are you doing off here by yourself? That's a big book. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Good lord, that book looks like it weighs 20 pounds. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. It's comically I'm huge. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. That's the last one. I'd better let Kenneth know. I guess we can say that that was basically a stand-in for us having uh, acted as a waiter basically all afternoon or whatever. Kind of makes more sense why we would get paid for that than taking food to three people. Wizened man. Hello, wizened man. 
Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates the Second Hyperboreus. What a name. It's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Can I call you H2H? Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company? I am a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. I'll ask about H2H himself. When I was very young... Oh, okay, right. He's only voice acting the first couple words. Yet, when I arrived... I, I almost wish they wouldn't voice act any of it when they do that. It's a little jarring. Fortunately... I have a few new notes that might interest you. Comprehensive Compendium of Valistian Lore. I don't so believe I... you've read this particular chapter before. Huh, what are if we leveling up there? For me, I should be happy to answer it. Oh, does this let us rewatch cutscenes and stuff? And there's a bestiary and okay, I see, I see. I gotcha. I thought maybe it was going to just have a lot of backstory and lore about the world. But no, it's more like it's the game's compendium. That makes sense. Torgal! Clive's faithful friend. We've been reunited. Also, interesting species. Ordinarily a dog that grows that big would not live anywhere near 13 years. Well, I'm glad you're still alive, Torgal. Ambrosia is at our chocobo. It's our personal steed. She raced to our rescue. What a good girl. Aw, she lost her eye. Poor girl. Sidolphus. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I'm not going to read all of these because that would be real boring to watch, but I'm just going to check out a few of them. I'm not convinced that we're never going to see Joshua again. I guess given the uh, all that this game is borrowing its tone from uh, Game of Thrones, it shouldn't be a shocker that our, our sweet little childhood girlfriend ended up suffering a horrible fate. Being a nice person is not rewarded in <laughs> stories and settings like this. Not at all. Ditto Joshua. Good grief, that poor kid. You are always welcome. Well, you seem pretty cool, H2H. I'm glad that at least some of the people here in the hideaway are pleasant. Not everybody's a jerkwad. Okay, well... We've been just kind of futzing around for a while. Uh, it looks like it's finally about time for us to head out into the wider world. Behind us, and... Hopefully do some exploration and fight some monsters and stuff, which I'm really looking forward to doing that. But that's going to have to wait until the next episode, because this one's getting pretty long. And last thing we'll do, 
We can save. Thank you, game. Thank you. Ah, uh, that feels good. See you next time.